Hey, this is Mike from RFID Linked, and today I will show you how to pair your Chainwave printer to the RFID Linked app. In this video, we will cover the initial setup procedure as well as talk about your printer options within the app. I'll be pairing this CP30 printer to my Chainwave C5 RFID scanner. This process should be quite straightforward on most Android devices. If you would like to know how to set up your printer, feel free to check out our previous video going over the whole process. I'll show you the steps for connecting the printer both via Bluetooth, Ethernet, and wireless. Feel free to skip to the appropriate chapter for the method that fits your configuration. Note that the Bluetooth version is an additional option for the CP30 RFID printer. The standard version comes with an Ethernet port only. We will begin by turning on the printer and making sure it goes through the initialization process. For Bluetooth based pairing, we first need to confirm the module is functioning properly. Ensure Bluetooth icon in the top right corner of the screen is present and clear of any error signs. If you do happen to have an exclamation mark next to your icon, go ahead and open up the bottom of the printer. Press the Bluetooth card in to release it, reseat it back in and close the door. Verify that the error mark is gone. Once we have the printer ready, we can go ahead and open up the connection settings in the Android scanner. We can now go ahead and navigate to the Bluetooth menu and seek for new devices. Once we see the CP30 or ITR4 with the printer icon come up on the available device list, we can go ahead and initiate the pairing process. Once we're inside RFID linked, we can go ahead and open up the settings menu. Select the printer settings option and click the add button to add a new printer. Here we will give our printer a name and select the network type and in this example we will select the Bluetooth option. Then we can go ahead and select our CP30 from the drop down of connected Bluetooth printers. The connection can be verified by clicking on the check printer button. Once verified, you'll be able to view and manage the newly paired printer within the same designated printer settings menu. A test label can now be printed to verify the connection between the device and the printer. For the Ethernet and wireless pairing, we will go through the following steps. First, we will connect to the Ethernet port on the back of the device. This time, after giving our printer a name, we will select the network type as a network printer. Alternatively, you can pair it to your Wi-Fi network. To get the IP address of your printer, you can go to the network settings in the printer menu. Use the listed IP address with the port number 9100 when adding the printer in RFID linked. Just make sure that your device and printer have the same IP, subnet, and default gateway. Now, the connection can be verified by clicking on the Check Printer button. After we confirm a successful connection, we can proceed to printing a test label. We will also have options to edit, set default, and check connectivity of our printer. If you run into any errors after the check, feel free to go back and review the steps again or reference our guide provided in the description of the video. The device should now be able to communicate without the need to pair again. Before each print, you can verify that your connection is stable by selecting the check connectivity option. If you're looking to buy one of these printers or a complete bundle, I'll leave a link in the description. And if you have any questions or would like to learn more about this bundle, please visit us at rfidlink.com.